Hello there. Today we got a guide and tips on getting started on Dawn of Defiance. And uh, this is what the uh, end gear looks like. We can't really change it at the moment for that. But yeah, this game is all about our skills. And that's why we're here is to check out our different skills. We'll get God powers later on, you know, for this glide ability and dashing around and stuff like that. But as you can see, everything is going to cost, you know, stamina and stamina reduction. Uh, this game is heavily uh, done on stamina. There's no leveling up your stamina skill or your hit point skill. It is food and potions and just one of each in this game so you're going to want to craft yourself a lot of stamina potions throughout this game and keep them running unfortunately uh, they just run 10 minutes and of course you can go in here and just use them out of, out of your menu you don't have to put them in your hot bar uh, you can use them from here just hit the f key and they'll automatically eat your food and eat your you know drink your potion and you can only have one of each of these running at a time so only one potion going and only one piece of food going and that should be your standard go-to thing is your stamina one so you can actually have some stamina regeneration and feel normal because that's how bad the stamina regeneration is it really jumps down but you get your other skills for that but this is the starter island so uh, this is where you're going to start uh like right over there i believe is the start point so you, the first thing you should probably do is make your way over here because this is the portal area on the map uh so you start off from wherever you start off i think you start off over here or doesn't matter where you start off just check out the map and come over to this location you can follow the roads up here and go all the way around or you can build your way up by using things but just get over here because this is where the portal is and this is where the last quest is this is where you start getting your like your god powers but you will have to go through out and go back and forth through all these shrines so that's the main goal you got at the start of the game is go to these three shrines uh, kill the guys on there activate them do what they need to done you know collect some resources and whatever it's all the standard stuff in this type of game it's a survival crafting game um high ground wins also so just if you're having a problem build your way up it's not that hard to build you get all your resources back in this game uh when you're building so if you want to go there and uh, build some basic stairs uh, you just put them down anywhere you feel like it and then uh well i can't build here too close too close to this place but yeah just keep on building up and up and up and up and then when you're done deconstruct them and get all your materials back uh, for that uh so yeah nice and easy to do to get up nice and high uh, but yeah i recommend just building your base right here and as for the stamina potions we were talking about uh, they are not hard to make uh, even right up here this is where i started my first this is where i had my first base right up here because i could run up that little side right there so how you get up there but yeah just pick all these pick up this yellow stuff not a problem just pick it up real nice and fast you know grab tons of it right here and then it's blueberries for the other ingredient conveniently it's right here too so this was a nice place to actually have your base because you have access uh to the major potion that you're going to be running the whole time with is doing that and grabbing those potions and then there's your stamina one two three four five six no plus nine so yeah nine stamina potions that time so you know seven to nine i guess is my average not four stuff now the combat in this game is all like you know spears basically at the start you don't get a sword later on and it's not really uh, they're not really effective at the at the start later on you know it'll be your best weapon until you get the you know the last spear in the game and that does more damage of course but yeah then it's just bows and stuff like that uh, but other than the basic stuff in there, hunting is going to be a big issue in this game because you're going to want to get the headshots uh, to get the three-star items out of the hunting. So that's one of the other things you might want to uh, worry about because you're going to need a lot of rabbits because one of the quests in this game is you're going to have to get three stars of lots of these kills, but the rabbits are the ones that drop uh, the materials that you need for the potion for unlocking one of the places, and the wolves haven't respawned back yet. Uh, but everything respawns pretty quickly, and right here is a nice little cave. There's only a caves on the starter island right now, uh, you know, early access, but this is where you get the uh, uh, the crystals, the ambrosia crystals in the back there, and of course nighttime you can pick them up and enemies will drop it. Uh, yeah, just don't, try not to convert those crystals into dust in this game uh, because you want to save them to forge later on so you can get your little purple gear uh, uh, you know at the end for that stuff but uh, yeah uh, we should go in there and try and find some guys that are spawning here so I can show you the hunting just running around and looking at them so you know because that's one of the key things in there is getting your ingredients for your meat and stuff like that which you don't have to use you can always just go there and uh, collect the berries and eat those for your stuff but yeah the deer is uh, he's already running away so uh, too late for that one uh, don't bother with the baby deers in this game uh, because you know they don't give you the the actual good meat and resources off of them even if they are three stars so there's a rabbit right here uh, this isn't really sneaking I'm just holding the aim button you can wait for them to stop and turn and there you go he saw me now you got lots of time to kill a rabbit and shoot him in the head and then that will give you the three stars off of that and then at the rabbit you saw other rabbit you saw run away so they'll come back i could just sneak up like this and Wait for him to stop. He stops. He sees me. I shoot him in the head. Uh, that's how uh, you can get. Of course, you're not going to have like enough damage to kill like maybe a deer or a wolf in one shot at the start. Uh, but yeah, just keep it up. Wolves, you can just keep running away from and uh, backtracking and 
shoot them that way. So uh, the wolves and the and the boars in this game are not a problem to deal with and try and get the three stars. And you, of course, you want them because um, when you harvest their bodies, when you on your uh, you know whatever your weapon bench, your, your hunting bench that you get to do them, uh, they'll do that. But yeah, you can go up there. I'm not even sneaking. Right? So there, he turned. He sees me. Shoot those guys real fast uh, on there. So uh, they'll run away and be very skittish and for uh, running around and killing them. Uh, but yeah, you want the three stars on there to so get the good cuts of meat. The uh, the deer meat is going to be the best. Uh, four year stuff on there because when you harvest it you get the uh, well, you get the deer meat which has uh, both the uh, stamina and the uh, hit points for your stuff and uh, have some regeneration on there so uh, they are the uh, best right now the regular meat is you know uh, you know 30 stamina and hit points for your maximum and the deer is like 45 so it's just a you know 50 percent better uh, and that's about it but so it, but it's going to be worthwhile to get later on and they also drop the entrails or whatever you get from the uh, the body parts to make the potions on this so yeah that is uh the hunting in a nutshell you can go around and sneak your way in there and uh, try and do that and level up your sneak if you want but usually the, the animals will stop and turn and look at you for a second the deer are a little bit harder uh you know the the, uh, the guys that attack you uh, they're not that hard at all at the end of the day uh for combat combat wise and everything else in this game is basic uh the only other thing you might want to worry about is rain because stamina once again is the key feature on there and you have a, a buff you can get so go ahead head and you know you have all this stuff here you can build it and uh, do it again we'll just go over here you just make a floor um, go and make a wall and then because you know this does have structure support on there that will decay after a while and then go for your roof um, your stuff and just build whatever with your thatch and then come over here and go to utility and put a fire down and well there you're on out of the rain and you know feed it a log and just sit there and wait because then you can check the buffs with you when you hit the, your tab or whatever and you hover over it it'll be on your character screen and then you can see it so when you're in the fire you're getting this uh this buff right here and then you gotta wait like a minute to get the actual uh buff and um, i'm doing this because it is important because when you're running around and that rain buff is really bad on the stamina it just really kills your stamina regeneration and uh, now you're immune to wetness for 15 minutes and that's all it took that's just that and now we can just get rid of everything in whatever order we want and get our uh, wood back from our fire uh, why not you know get all your resources back it doesn't take too much time but it also will save you a lot of headaches of running around and running out of stamina because that is the uh, major thing on there uh, for the, this game uh, there's not much else to really show you uh, building your base location make your temporary one over here somewhere it doesn't have to be up there you can make a staircase to get up there easily if you want you can just, just stick your base near the portal right here because uh, fast travel is there's no fast travel in this game this is the only way to do it is go through portals and that's not really uh, incredibly fast or uh, convenient uh, but it's better than uh, not having any at all uh, so when you get the starter area done the boss isn't much of a problem uh, he looks really easy at the start is just a soldier guy you can fight them in the, over here but yeah uh, we have uh, three more portals or, or two more portals to go to different locations uh, that you can unlock with uh, resources later on that go to the desert in the dark forest and this is the guy that gives you the quest you don't really need to sell anything to him uh, you can sell some of your extra junk to him uh, but uh, yeah all the stuff isn't really worthwhile we can still like a th three star rabbit and what we get like six gold yeah that's nothing uh, uh, off this guy I think I bought everything the only quest I have left there is uh, getting the three star wolves and I needed their body parts uh, for the potions uh, so uh, for the open them the one note door of the shrine on the uh, bigger map right here uh, but yeah just to build your base uh, nearby doesn't have to look pretty or anything oh you can make it look pretty if you want but uh, uh, just a functional base right by the portals would be a most convenient uh, thing to do um, and this is what you're going to aim for I could just go for two of everything that you're going to have this is where you put your body parts in there your two different forges you got two different sets for your things and that's the uh, uh, that's the ambrosia ignis you can make from the crystals uh, for later on and then you know, your other forge and your crafted thing and once you make the forge station uh, it just re automatically repairs everything so at the start of the game you're gonna have to worry about repairing all the time and you can craft this repair thing right here and uh, that you know just get resin off off of the trees and uh, do that but uh, uh, yeah just uh, an easier way to get resin at the start of the game is to go for these uh, baby trees that's what I call them I call them the baby trees and uh, these are the these ones right here so uh, these would be the baby trees uh, this would be the small tree and then there's like a, a, a thicker tree there's like four sets 
sense of uh, thickness for these trees right here. And it matters because of when, you cut, when you're cutting these down there with the weakest axe, it only takes a couple, one or two swings to get that, and you get like a, you get like your resin off of that. Uh, versus cutting down the uh, bigger trees and then having to cutting them the logs. That's why these are, these are small trees. Then you cut, you got to cut the stump uh, to get resin. And all those ones there, you know, I took like three swings versus the one swing, and I both and I got one resin out of all of them. So yeah, just when you're running around uh, with your with doing stuff, and you see those small trees, uh, the baby trees or whatever. Uh, and knock them down, get the resin, because you'll need a lot to repair your stuff at the start until you build that repair thing for yourself. And these trees here, they drop feathers, those bushes instead, um, and then these uh, bigger trees. Uh, they take, they'll take a long time to knock down, because you know these are these are the, uh, the real trees right here, the big ones. They'll take a lot of time to knock down, and uh, you know three logs, you got to chop them apart. There, it's like you know three or four hits to do it. And same for the stump on here, you know three or four hits to get the stump down, and then you'll get like two resin out of it. So, and uh, since you know resin is a pain in the ass to get. I thought I would mention that because you know it's a tips guide video. Get, take out the baby trees while you can and save yourself some time, uh, you know, with the buffs and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, there, this game is so simple and easy. There's nothing really much else to tell you. So, other than follow the, the standard directions that you get for these building and crafting games, uh, there's not much to do. If you want to level up your skills, you just use them. Uh, like you know, right here, we're leveling up glide. If you want to level up your glide and so you can fly around a lot more, just hover. Uh, you can see the experience going up nice and slowly. It's the best way to level up your glide skill is just to uh, uh, do that, and they'll eventually take less stamina than you know my potions and stuff already ran out there. So I got to you know drink some more, eat some more and I can still do that while I'm flying and we fall down there and then eat and you can eat and move at the same time and drink at your potions at the same time uh, for that so yeah let's go over there and uh, do some of the uh, combat uh, golems might be a problem in this game we can check out the map too so this is the starter island right here we saw that and uh, there's not much else going on this is still locked out early access type of a thing uh, you have these other shrines you're gonna have to go to and these are the colored ones right that's that his 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 is black uh, you got to activate these other places and you need to do all of them to actually open up some of these shrines like all uh, you know I think it's Apollo's shrine you got to activate all these crystal ones that you can find out throughout the map and like each section will have like three so yeah, don't miss the one on top of there. So each of these sections will have three. Uh, this you know this biome will have three. The desert will have three. Uh, this is all one big shared biome. So there's one, two, and then uh, the third one is somewhere else on here. Or is that third one? Anyways, uh, probably way over here. Yeah, yeah, way over there. So yeah, third one is big area right here. And the dark forest has its own, and that's where you can find those. But yeah, uh, this is you know the general location of where they are. There's there's that guy's god shrine. That god shrine you defile. Uh, that one there is another color, a different color. Uh, maybe a pink one and this one's a gray one on the symbol and there's a purple guy right there and blue and then the yellow guy you know uh, that's where those uh, shrines are, are and I got little small uh, tips videos on where to get these things and uh, the things that activate them and all the things you gotta do they're really short uh, just like the three star killings for the uh, thing so all those little videos are helpful and short if you were looking to find stuff in this game and uh, so let's go to the uh, desert um, and go there and show you some comment this is the dark forest portal uh, when you're traveling out to these areas make sure you're bringing like 50 bones with you because these portals to activate require 50 bones and like the rest of the stuff is easy to get like 200 like logs and 100 stone uh, that type of thing that, that's not a problem it's just you never you know you're not going to carry uh, 50 bones with you and you have to actually harvest your guys and kill lots of guys for it uh to do that uh for them so let's go over here and uh, show you the uh, easy way to kill golems because they can be really tough at the start there's one right there the silver golem right here uh they have a lot of hit points when you're first starting your bows aren't going to be doing much damage on um, for these guys and they're going to hit you and if they hit you uh they do a ton of damage like you know uh, for the for their stuff right there boom now, uh, that's i'm not going to take a ton of damage because i got the best armor on there but yeah uh just punching them you can see you're doing like 20 damage with your arrows that's going to take forever and you get stomped like that you know without armor on there you're you're pretty much going to die right off the bat and when you're running around in here so yeah just go for the high ground uh you can just build this stuff anywhere you want take it apart later if you if you need to but yeah it's just as simple as building a ladder of course you can't can't hover forever your stamina is going to run out and so you need a safe place to kill guys if you want to so you can always do something like this for any guys you're going to have a problem with and then we can just stand there and look down and look at them and just you know shoot them as we see fit and then he'll just sit there and you know he can glitch out and he'll eventually toss some rocks at us but they can't hit us from up here uh so yeah free easy kills just, just sam your arrows and uh, bam your bob's your uncle you're gone so like we can just go down there and smack them try to smack them Oh, my shield's not up. There you go. Let's see what shield block can do. Yeah, full block now. Uh, and then, yeah, use a spear. Like, this is uh, this is a uh, frost damage. He's got a little frosty buff going on. I'm going to slow him down even more. Yeah, 
but yeah, he's a he's not a challenge anymore. But at the start, these golems can be a pain uh, to worry about. But yeah, yeah. You're, you, when you're first starting, your block isn't going to be able to cover it with your basic shield. So uh, you also have the running and jump attacks. That's standard basic. You just run and then hit your attack button and get your special attack going. And of course, dodging yeah, the simple stuff. You know, dodging these aerial things are, can be a pain because you know, you know, big area effect on them. But you can just keep doing stuff like that. Dip in there and attack them. You know, dip in, attack, run away. Oh no, I didn't run fast enough. Oh no, you hurt me. Uh, yeah, not, not to worry. Oh, there's a nice crit. It's a crit on the dodge. There we go. Finish them off. And then you can keep hitting these guys while they're down. So I can go there and uh, go back to the fist and keep hitting them until their body disappears. It's leveling up my skills. So yeah, I'll level up my unarmed. Did that a little bit on there. And uh, each of the skills adds like 5% uh, or like 5 more damage for unarmed on your skills. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you about this game. If there's nothing really else for the tips, explore everything. Um, uh, make the map markers for yourself because there's no map markers in this game yet, which really sucks on there. So if you find a chest that can only be opened at nighttime, maybe take a screenshot of that location so you can come back and find it later on. Because uh, I'm, I'm missing one. There's like one over here somewhere uh, that I didn't want to wait around to nighttime to actually get it. And you can only rest at nighttime and stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, take a look at these guys. Um, the other hardest guys are going to be uh, these uh, little uh, uh, Gorgons, uh, little Medusa type guys uh, that shoot stuff at you, and they will still hurt you a lot. Uh, they do magic damage, so their armor isn't going to really, uh, you know, help you at all, at all, basically. So yeah, uh, even having the best armor is not going to help you out. So you're going to want to pick them off from far away. This is where you get some silver. Oh uh, yeah, we should do the mine ores. Um, if you're playing this game, you want to know where the ores are. Copper, uh, right around the starting portal. Uh, sil uh, you know, uh, uh, um, tin is going to be over here in the dark forest. And then, uh, you know, um, silver, of course, is in here. Silver and uh, some um, other stuff. What's going on here? I'm getting attacked by um, a copper golem. Hey, copper golem, how you doing? I'll just finish you off real quick. It's all glitched out there, yeah. Oh, can't. Oh, I got my shield still on, that's why. Okay. Oh well, too bad. My shield back. I wonder, I'll try blocking her attack and seeing if I actually can block it, because um, they're very fast and they're tracking with all the missile weapons in this game. So you want to get used to that. There she is right there, this little Gorgon. Um, maybe I should take out the other guys and uh, deal with them. No, they're, not tough. they're not a problem anymore, I'm just blocking it through them. Yeah, she, she teleports around. Yeah, there's that hit. Blocking, yeah, did nothing. Disables your abilities. You are slowed. Yeah, you can't do anything with her, basically, right? And she will fly around. Oh, there's another golem. That's what's going on. Yeah, that doesn't help. Finish her off. Yeah, they're trying to gangbang me. Oh, yeah. You guys make it difficult. You want me to die for the first time. Man, I think so. so I got a copper golem. There you go. So maybe this is an occasion to actually switch my potions up there and actually drink a healing potion. Uh, they only last three minutes, but yeah, yeah, that's the closest I've come to death so far in this game. Yeah, might as well do it now. Uh, that's what you get for testing out a Gorgon. Uh, yeah, they, they, the magic damage, uh, you got to watch out there. So you can always go for the high ground and hide behind them on the temples when you're going over there and opening them up and uh, do that. So yeah, you can uh, always hide behind these pillars. Uh, but you can get shot through the floors and stuff like that if they're already open. Um, so be, be aware of that when you're flying around uh, doing your thing. Uh, you know, they, they can be uh, very deadly if you're not uh, too careful. And the desert sucks uh, for this, so uh, that is it. Um, there is really, uh, I don't think there's anything else that you could really need help with in this game. I think I covered it all. Get your three-star hunting done. Always have the potions up and running for yourself. Get your little buff to get out of the rain. Um, and uh, go for the high ground and uh, just uh, explore the world and uh, try and play. There's no boss. Uh, there's nothing else to do in this game yet. So that's early access. But uh, yeah, you can stay tuned. And just remember, if you can have a trouble finding anything, check out my videos because I just did a whole bunch of uh, videos on the locations of all the pain and the other stuff to find in this game. Uh, so yeah, there you have it. Uh, so that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you later.